Hi kids, in today's video we are going to learn chapter number 5 of mathematics related to comparing numbers. This chapter is about greater and smaller numbers. So let's start with today's activity. This exercise is about encircling the greater number. As you can see here, we have been given two different numbers in each box in which we have to identify the greater number. The first box has been done for our ease. As you can see, there are two numbers, 3 and 5 written here. And we have to encircle the greater one. The logical concept of finding the greater number is the number that comes later is greater as 3 comes before 5. So we can say 5 comes later than 3. Therefore, 5 is a greater number. Let's start with the rest of the activity. In the next box, we have two digits 4, 9. So when we count from 1 to 9, let's see where 9 comes, either earlier or later. Remember, we have to identify the greater number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In this counting that we just did, 4 comes before 9. It means 9 comes later. Therefore, we are going to circle 9 as it is a greater number. In the next box, 6 and 3, two numbers are given. And again, we have to identify the greater number. So, for the greater numbers, we can again count from 1 to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, 6 comes later than 3. Therefore, 6 is a greater number. Similarly, we have to follow the whole exercise. In the next box, we have 6 and 9. If we start counting from 6, we will find 9 comes later than 6. 6, 7, 8, 9. Therefore, 9 is greater than 6. In the next box, two numbers are here, 5 and 2. So when we start counting, we will find where 5 comes. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It means 5 comes later than 2. Therefore, 5 is a greater number. The next box is the easiest one because we have two numbers, 1 from which the counting really starts and 4. Logically, by looking at this box, we can easily identify that 4 is a greater number over here. However, the way we are doing this exercise, we will follow the same pattern. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, 4 is a greater number. This is also a very simplest one because everybody knows that 8, 9 in the counting is a logical order. Therefore, 9 comes later and it is a greater number. The last two boxes, kids, you have to try on your own. This one has 7 and 2, so you have to start counting from 2, finding out where 7 comes. Similarly, in the last box, we have 4 and 8. So you have to start counting from 4 to find out where 8 comes and identify definitely the greater number. So in this part of exercise, we try to find out the greater numbers. Let's move to the next part of the exercise, which says encircle the smaller number. Now here we are supposed to find out and circle the smaller number. 
as we can see the first box has been done for us the numbers here are 3 and 1 so we can say and we can identify that the number that comes earlier is the smaller number as when we start counting 1 comes before 3 so 1 is a smaller number let's move to the next box 6 and 4 in this box we will definitely start counting from 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so as I mentioned earlier the number that comes earlier or before the other number is the smaller one so 4 comes before 6 therefore it is the smaller number the next box having 5 and 2 so let's just start counting from 1 again 1 2 3 4 5 2 comes before 5 therefore 2 is a smaller number in the next box it is very easy and simpler in the form because 4 comes before 5 so we can easily identify that 4 is a smaller number similarly in the next box we can easily identify 2 and 6 when we start counting 2 comes before 6 therefore 2 is a smaller number in the same manner 3 is a smaller than 8 because it comes before 8 it comes earlier than 8 therefore 3 is a smaller number the next one is also very easy because 7 comes before 9 when we count from 1 to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 because 7 comes before 9 that's why it is a smaller number the last two remaining boxes are very easy so kids you have to try it on your own and we'll check the answers in the later on videos let's have a quick recap of today's activity in today's chapter number five we try to compare numbers by identifying them as either greater or the smaller ones so the numbers that comes later on in the counting are the greater ones and the numbers that come earlier than the other digit are the smaller ones I hope you enjoyed today's video I'll be back with some more learning and fun based activities and lectures till then take care of yourselves bye